Hello and welcome. In this video, we're using an area model to find the binomials that multiply to this polynomial below. All right, so I'm going to set the area model. Uh, we're going to first rewrite our expression. x to the fourth plus 3x squared minus 4. So the area model is just a way of saying, hey, this area represents our, tr our trinomial, this thing right here. And it's split up in four regions, right? You can have more regions, but we only need four here. So this is x to the fourth, and this is negative four. Why? Because I want it to be, and it actually is quite helpful. Here's why. x to the fourth is the same thing as x squared times x squared. Negative four is really just four times negative one. Now, I could have chose other factors of negative four, but I chose four and negative one because I know that they need to add to this three right here. Why do I know that? Let's take a look. Four times x squared is four x squared. x squared times negative one is negative x squared. And if you see what's happening, if this is the area of our trinomial, let's add the pieces together. We have x to the fourth, add these two. That's positive 3x squared minus 4. What did I just show you? Well, that's our original trinomial. Notice that we had to add these two terms. We had to add the 4 and the negative 1 to get the 3. So the two numbers that multiply negative 4, right, have to also add to positive 3. That's what's happening here. And we're basically done. Um, in this problem, they asked for the binomial, so this would be x squared minus 4 times x squared minus 1. Oh, excuse me, x squared plus 4. All right, this is x squared plus 4, and this is x squared minus 1. Now, this actually is another difference of squares problem, so we can break it down further, even though they don't ask for it. So x squared minus 1 is really x minus 1 times x plus 1, and if you're not sure about that, look at the area model. So for x squared minus 1, if we do the same process, if we put x squared here, that's x by x. And then minus 1, well, that's just 1 times negative 1. And here you can see that's x plus 1 times x minus 1 is x squared minus 1. It's this area in here. What about these two regions? Well, these regions just cancel out, these other two right here, right? This is 1x, and this is negative x. 1 times x is x, and x times negative 1 is negative x. And if we add those two together, if we go through the same process, they cancel out, right? This is x squared. These two are opposite, so it's just plus 0x, and this is negative 1. So 0x is nothing, it's just x squared minus 1. So this whole region is represented by the product of x plus 1 times x minus 1. So you could go a little bit further. They do ask for two binomials, so you could stop at the previous stuff, but I like to factor as far as possible.